I have dandruff in my eyebrow. Anyway, <coughs> hey, so I just um, uploaded a vlog, um, one forty-eight, and it is for my younger brother's uh, high school hockey graduation ceremony and the game thereafter. Pretty rough, pretty fun. But that was recorded, and you can always you can always check when I uploaded a vlog just by looking in the description. I say when I actually uploaded it, but I recorded that initially on Saturday the 11th, and only now have I uploaded it because Monday the 13th, when I was going to upload it, I got hit with a community guideline strike. Not for anything I had uploaded, because you probably already read the title of the video, it was for a playlist full of videos that aren't mine, um, and a guideline rule I was not even aware uh, was a thing. So, the playlist was called The Internet's Crap, and it was just a playlist full of memes and meme compilations and other random crap that I just thought was funny. Almost 5,000 videos on that playlist. <laughs> and because I've been uploading on the thing for a while, but yeah, so I got hit with that guideline strike, and I was very much confused. It was hit for hate speech, and so when I looked to review my content, the option said review your content, it just showed me the whole playlist and told me it was hate speech or it violated hate speech guidelines. And I was like, I'm sure, okay, what exactly did this do? And I was unaware at the time of <laughs> uh, that playlist could be hit for strikes. And apparently this has been a thing going on for at least two years. Um, and it can happen to your playlist whether it's private or not. It can happen to your watch later playlist, which is just kind of stupid. But I put in an appeal and I... I had a, I was pretty confident the appeal, the appeal would be rejected, but all I wanted was to just put a comment with the appeal saying like, hey, what exactly caused this so that I could avoid in the future? And YouTube just sent me a, a copy and pasted email. Ooh, someone's here. A copy and pasted email uh, saying no. It pretty much, essentially that's what it said. It said nothing interesting, didn't address my comment, so why have that little stupid comment box there anyway, but. I was, of course, very upset about this initially, but, <laughs> um, you know, to, as time went on, I just thought about it. I realized that it's not something worth getting upset about, but the whole reason that this happens apparently is because how YouTube views playlists is this is a way of featuring more content on your channel, and so even if the videos on the place are not yours and the place is private, it is still equivalent to you uploading all those videos on your playlist, which I completely disagree with that, with how YouTube views it that way, because someone like me, especially if my playlist is private, I view it as a way of just organizing content that oftentimes YouTube has recommended me. Most of the videos on this playlist were recommended to me by YouTube, so that's the whole... I accidentally hit of the volume button and it stopped recording for whatever reason. Well, whatever. <laughs> so, but it's just very bizarre. And the fact that it can happen to your private watch player playlist, private watch later playlist sucks. But since YouTube has really given me no indication of what exactly caused it out of a playlist of 5,000 videos, I see no reason to change anything I'm doing. So, Whatever. <laughs> um, because, honestly, YouTube's not the most important thing to me. I have, like, what, 350 subs, and I'm not monetized. And even when I hit the threshold to be monetized, I probably won't. I probably won't at all. I don't, I don't care. Because, um, you know, I have friends and family who bring me more value than YouTube ever will. So, I was upset about it for the first few days. But, you know what, it's not the most important thing to me, and... I'm glad I'm back. I can upload this content. The part that I hated the most was I couldn't upload that vlog, so. I wouldn't want to lose this channel because I have a lot of fond memories of uploaded on it. But at the same time, it's not going to be the end of the world. It's just, if you're new out there and you don't know that you can, <laughs> don't know what you can be 
get a guideline strike for playlist even if they're private even if they aren't your videos you can be hit with them instead of just youtube taking the obvious solution which would be just if that video violates community guidelines just take it down and take it off the playlist so it's it's messed up but that's that's youtube the, those guidelines are not there to protect anyone on the platform they're they are there to protect their advertisers because they don't have their advertisers they don't make money so they they content that gets taken down or demonetized is just to protect their advertisers not their viewers not their audience not their youtubers unless you're in that you know top one percent big uh big boy uh good boy youtubes club but <coughs> whatever um after i've had time to think about it i'm not upset about it i'll just keep moving on and you know, for anyone out there who doesn't know, this is something that can happen. I'm just kind of looking back and laughing at the whole thing, so. Anyway, I'll see you in my next video, which I think is, I think I'm going to do like a retrospective review on Rainbow Six Extraction. Which, don't worry, I'm not going to try and preach to you that it's some hidden gem. It's a pretty meh game. I just want to get my thoughts on it.